Welcome to Thoughts for Growth, your five minute or so spark to see our world differently. Brought to you on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays by K Wave 6 Radio. Now, here's today's thought. Hello and welcome to Thoughts for Growth. I thought I'd change it up a little bit because even though I do start broadcasting these Thought for Growth segments in the morning, uh, I used to uh, greet you with a good morning, but I realize some people may not be listening in the morning. Anyway, today, just a thought, is bad news. Why do people, including you and I, get attracted to bad news? If there's something blowing up, if there's a strife in some country, if there's an earthquake over there and it's really bad, we go clamor to see what it's all about. We look at it, we listen to it, we talk about it, and we most likely can't do much of anything about it. Some of us who have money We'll send some money. Where's the charity to take care of these people over there? Let's let somebody else take care of the problems. But (gasps) those poor people, or ooh, look at that, or the world's coming to an end. Well, inevitably, most anything comes to an end, sooner or later. Energy doesn't come to an end. Energy is just something that exists. If we didn't have energy, none of us or nothing that we know of would exist. But we always clamor to the bad news. We're always looking for something that brings us that excitement. I even thought about and actually did bring up today's news. In the headlines, Father, Son leaves Germany to fight ISS or ISIS, excuse me. Iran nuclear talks going down to the wire. Ooh, gotta read that one. House report deflates Benghazi theories. People are interested in Benghazi story. Okay, they're still rehashing old stuff. That's over, that's done with. What do we do to change the future so it doesn't happen again? Okay. Strong earthquake shakes shakes Japan. Ooh, haven't read that one yet. Wow. Uh, Arrested in case of missing Mexican students. Teachers riot. Actually, since I live here, I got a little bit of a first-hand report on that one. Students and teachers were marching peacefully. Ten people were caught inciting the problems. So, in other words, the people that were really... Um, protesting against the problems were peaceful. Ten people started the problem and it escalated from there. These are things that we're talking about here in the news. We gravitate towards all the negative. We don't see the positive. We don't even look for is there something more to the news than what is being told us? Most people, no. It's okay. It comes with a three-letter backing. ABC, CBS, NBC, uh, CNN, or the four, MSNBC, or CIA, FBI. Any one of those, oh, must be true because they're reporting it. Why do we just gullibly drink in what's being fed to us. Why don't we check to see for ourselves? One of the last week's shows I did, actually with the interview with uh, Mayhall Rockefeller, uh, we were talking about charitable organizations and how people, it went all over YouTube and on television news and everything else about that ice bucket challenge. Do this and send the money to them. And when you do your homework on it, you find out 80% of what you send in goes into the pockets of the administrators and whoever run the organization. 
20% goes in for the research. You really want to keep feeding somebody that makes 300000 to $3 million a year, supposedly running a charitable organization? We, <laughs> we look at the bad news, and when something good does come up, we don't check it any more than we check the bad news. There's your challenge for this week. Well, for today. Check out things. Question everything. Stop being attracted only to the bad news. Start looking at what's good going on in the world. Because if all you're focusing on is the bad news, that's all you're going to get. That's all you're going to see. It'll either make you angry or depressed or fearful. Eh, you can come up with any adjective you want to describe your feelings. But if it's truly not making you happy, why? I'm not saying don't be concerned about things that you can help and change. Or to find out where we are in the world. Not out of fear, but where are we in the world? What are we doing? What are we progressing? What are we digressing to? Think about what you really want in your life. Good news or bad news? Or just being informed? Take your choices. In the meantime, take care. Have yourself a wonderful day and the beginning of a week. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye for now. Think of the future that we could create.